This video tutorial is going to cover how to create underbases for your designs. So let's say that this is our design as is needed to print. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we ungroup this. And then you're going to want to make sure you've used Pantone colors on everything in your design. Also the white as well if you haven't. But let's just assume you already did that. The first thing you do is you just go up to these options here in Corel and you hit the simplify button. And what that's going to do is trim everything from itself. So if you click on the black and drag it to the side you'll see that it's no longer pieces laying on top. They're all trimmed from each other and everything is kind of made into one layer that way. That's really important because you don't want to underbase your black. There's no point to underbase black. So the next thing you do is select everything, hold down shift on your keyboard and deselect the black. You can move it to the side just to make sure that you selected everything properly. Looks like we did. And now that we have this selected, I'm just going to go ahead and group it. So I just grouped all the color pieces that need underbase together. And then I'm going to select all those color pieces and copy and then paste, which pastes a copy on top. I'm going to make that copy just some random color. Usually I go with like a super bright pink or neon green, something that's not in your design. This is going to be your underbase, but we don't want the underbase to go right to the edge of all the other colors. We want to give it a choke. So we're going to go into outline here, outline options, give it a one point. You really don't need anything more than one point of an outline. Make it white. You can go less than one point if you're comfortable, experienced screen printer. And you don't have to worry about behind fill or scale with image. Hit OK, and you'll see that puts a white outline around the outside edge of our pink underbase shape. Now all we need to do is go to Arrange, Order, to Back. That moves it behind everything else. If we move this color layer out of the way, you'll see it's underneath of there. And then all you have to do is click on the colored version of the alligator, the grouped object. You're just going to right click on it and hit overprint fill. That's the convenient part about Corel. You just do that to a group object and it overprints all of the grouped pieces. So then you can go into view, enhance with overprints, and that'll show you that that pink color is kind of affecting these overprinted colors. The reason you do an overprint is so that when you go to print this out and print your separations, it's going to um, show the underbase on as a black printout for one of your separations. If you don't um, overprint fill, then it's just not going to give you anything on that separations piece. As you can see when I go back in here, it's just going to be blank. Overprint means print what's underneath of these objects. And that's all you have to do. Um, you can group this all together afterwards if you need to move it around or something like that. And that's it. As far as Illustrator is concerned, very similar in there. You don't have to ungroup your object. You just hit the merge button on your Pathfinder. And then you can ungroup it at this point. And you'll see it did the same thing, cut everything out from each other. Select everything, deselect the black. But notice now that the black in here is not all one piece. They're separate pieces. So you're going to select one of your 
black pieces go to select same fill color and that selects all of your black and then you can just hold down shift make a selection around everything else it'll deselect the black and just select the green and the other colors we're going to group this we're going to copy this now in illustrator you need to do paste in front which is control F in order for it to paste it in the same spot then we're going to go to our Pantone palette select a crazy color then go ahead and add a stroke and make sure that that stroke is white you'll see very similar as in Corel we can move this to the back and then we can click on our grouped object well, our grouped object of all the colors and we're going to go under attributes which I thought was open but you can go to window attributes oh it looks like looks like it is open hiding underneath of here somewhere here we go and at, with those colored pieces selected that are on top you're just going to want to click over print fill which in some versions of Corel or I'm sorry in some versions of Illustrator I don't know why it's not letting me do it I guess um, it wants to do each one separately each color separately so you, for some reason in my version it wants to go through and do it for each color you just do overprint fill for everything and it'll give you the same effect if you need any other help or if you need any artwork or anything of that nature be sure to visit freelancefridge.com I offer stock vector artwork as well as custom artwork of all sorts. Thank you for watching.